I'm starting the day with a balloon trip so that I can redo my birdhouses again. And whilst doing that, I hit 51 Hunter and I stopped by this bank to figure out what the heck I'm actually going to do today. I decided it was about time that I did a proper tree run. So I grabbed what I thought I'd need and headed to the closest tree. But of course, this spot had a tree in it from that horrible quest where I needed the willow branches. So I had to go back to the bank and get an axe and then I could finally chop it down and plant a tree. I'm going to pay the gardeners with tomatoes to protect all of these to keep them safe. Then I paddled up the river to Varric. My run energy was already gone. It really didn't last very long. So I'm already thinking of bidding off these tree runs until much later on. But anyway, I raked this tree patch and planted one here by the castle. The tree hopped over to the stronghold and did the same thing here, and then again at Taverley, and finally one more in Falador. That's five trees total, and that's definitely enough for now for sure. I took the Taverley balloon to Varric, and then the bird to Varlamore, because I've decided that today is the day that I'm going to unlock the Quetzal transport system. So I spoke to someone in the palace who sent me down into this crypt. Then I spoke to the prince that they keep locked down here. After that, I stuck my hand in this guy's pocket to reveal a stolen amulet, which I guess I'm going to steal back now. Then handed it over to the knights, crossed this bridge to get to the bank on the other side, and geared myself up for a fight. I wore the most random outfit for this fight, but first I had to lead this drunk girl over to the fountain to sober her up, but apparently she was too drunk to even follow. A fair while later, I left her standing there and headed up the massively steep staircase into the Colosseum. In this fight, I have to swap my combat styles to avoid his prayers, but my magic attacks weren't working at all. So I swapped the melee and hit him a few times, but he was chunk of my health bar down so much. I tried the magic again and it wasn't working at all, so I just ran the heck away. Well, I tried to anyway. I kept running about like a lunatic, trying to just kite him, but it wasn't working at all. My spells were definitely set up right, and I even tried to reset it with no luck. Eventually, I figured out that manually casting the spells from the spellbook worked, so I had to click to cast every damn attack. This was a horrible fight for me. Trying to switch between attack styles, manually cast my magic, switch between the inventory tab and the spellbook tab, and eat to heal the massive damage that he was doing was too much. I think I forgot to breathe that entire fight. I was so bloody glad when it was over, and afterwards, I had a hook in this chest for a letter which I totally definitely read properly and then gave it over to this pair. One of them straight out slashed this guy right in front of everyone but I could finally use these birds so I guess it was all for the greater good. After speaking to someone in Narnia I had another fight ahead of me and thankfully this one was much much easier than the last one. Once the battle was over I had full access to the Quetzal transport system and a brand new teleport to this place that I can't pronounce and a bit of thieving XP to go along with it. I wanted to continue my Varlamar progress next so I started the frog quest where I had to speak to Sue and Gary who are the blue frogs. They don't seem to like Dave and Jane who are the orange ones. I totally took sides, sabotaged the lily pad for them and caused this frog to drown because Gary forgot to say that he couldn't swim. Now the frogs started throwing out demands which I had to relay to their boss Marcellus. He wasn't falling for it though so the frogs came up with some elaborate plan where I stole his love letters and hid his toy plushie in the poop over here. Then that frog from earlier came back from the dead and sneak attacked me from behind but one big hard whack with my stick sorted him out and Marcellus was finally willing to accept the frog's demands. And with that I have access to a new hardwood patch, some woodcut and XP and a nice round 125 quest points. I banked at the hunter guild and then decided that it was as good a time as any to do some rumours. Black warlocks were up first and I found it much easier to tag these little things to catch them. Once that task was finished I went straight to get another which took me into the desert where I had to catch these orange salamanders. Sabertooth Kebet was up next which is this flipping deadfall trap again. These ones take forever to do. And then just what I wanted for the next one was another deadfall for wild kebets. After that I had to catch butterflies again which I much prefer doing. It's probably one of my favourite rumours to do right now actually. And that was my 10th task anyway so I climbed up to the top of the tree and spoke to this man after it. He gave me a free whistle blueprint which I used immediately and then I tallied over to Lumbridge just so that I could take this bird straight back. From this bird I could travel over to the town centre and then hop onto the Varric bird which is only like three squares away. This thing is handy as hell. From here I started replacing all of my trees from earlier starting with this castle one in Varric and then the stronghold then Taverley then Falador and finally Lumbridge. I didn't even up a farmer level from doing all that though but I did get a spory seed whatever the heck that is. But I'll figure that out later because I'm logging out there for today.